hell, so well, this is a bad time to stop. Eh, yeah, whatever. So we just had a little accidental discharge over here. Now we'll speak about the settings and kind of like all the knowledge I have gathered from the forums, a little bit about the settings, how to reduce input lag, how to farm efficiently in the game and especially kind of take advantage of the game system to level up. And how to level up cold blood and a lot of other stuff. And then we'll actually go into Dexless Limo because he has been waiting for us for two weeks. And that's rude to keep him waiting. So first of all, how to reduce input lag, which is a thing that CD Projekt Red really messed up. So most of the game's uh, designs are made for consoles for whatever reason. So you have to go into controls. And over here you have show advanced options. So this should be on raw and this should be on zero. As you can see. This actually has a delay that you can turn off. Basically, when you start playing the game, the delay will be kind of like a split second. So that's why the game will feel a little weird. So this should be on on. Then you select row and then you select everything on zero. The game will move much, much better. I mean, no, no more pesky delay. By the way, my FPS are a little weird. Still, with all the changes I tried, nothing really works. So sometimes, depending on your computer, no change will actually modify your FPS. That is, that's actually a frame drop sometimes. But again, it's not related to the to what you're doing. It's related to the game's uh, general performance. Now, on graphic, I'll kind of say what actually works for most people. Again, this will be a boost in about... 10 to 5 to 20 FPS for most people, but sometimes it will do nothing. So this is kind of like the best I have for playing and actually having quality in the game. Film grain is always off, chromatic aberration is always off, because they cause a lot of FPS drops and lag. Motion blur off. I keep those, but again, it's not so important. The most important thing here is apparently the cascaded shadows resolution. So I put that on low. Uh, this will be on low just to be the, on the safe side, volumetric fog, well, we'll reduce it, we'll put it on low and to off, because it doesn't really affect how the game plays, it's more about the looks and it will give us a decent boost. Ray tracing off, and by the way, this is for AMD users only. If you have DLSS, that means you are <laughs> an NVIDIA user, so you can turn that on. But to be honest, they don't really work as intended, so what's the difference between dynamic and static fidelity? Well. If you have a good computer or a mid-computer, you might as well use dynamic fidelity because this will make your game be stable and look pretty. If you have kind of like a lower tier computer or it's just a little old and you still love it and you still pet it and say good boy or good girl, you will use static one. Static one is for worse computers from what I understand and it will kind of make the game look a little weird. So yeah, good computers, pretty this one, a little order, but still pretty this one. And here you can just modify as intended, but again, you just have to work a, a lot around the settings to have the FPS you want. And even with all of these things, you still get FPS drops, especially when you're looking at other people. 42, 46, so I was this. The FPS is so fluctuating in this game, I don't know, nothing could fix it probably. And there is also another thing I tried, so I went into the game's files, you went into, you go into the game's files, the engine files, or, you know, you just configure the game to use more RAM and more VRAM. VRAM is the GPU RAM. So you basically put the game to use about, you use it 50% of your memory RAM. So if you have 16, that's 8. If you have 32, that's 16 gigabytes. And also you have to put the cards, what? The, me the GPU memory card is VRAM at uh, whatever it is, 8 or whatever you have, 4, 6. And still with all of those changes, nothing really seems to work. I mean, it's good for a short while, but sometimes you do something and you're losing FPS left and right. You shouldn't fluctuate FPS so much in a normal game, but this is not normal. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about cool and cold blood. So to actually start leveling up the skill, it's weird because you only need to invest one skill point. So in order to level up cold blood, you just need to kill people because this is how you get a cold blood stack after defeating an enemy. So the best way to gain cold blood experience is to just kill people, probably one after the other and just wait a little bit. You don't have to use a melee weapon, you don't have to use a sneaking weapon, you 
don't have to do much for that matter. As you can see, it's almost, it's almost the highest it can get. Level 8, 9. Oh, it, has actually, it goes up to 20, but this is for the early part of the game anyway. Because my cool is 9, so at level 9 it will be maxed out and I need to invest another attribute point into it. So, where are we? We're actually very close to Dex's limo. This is a very special location because it has this weird container over here. And that's the speed limit and uh, kind of like traffic advisor. So, with the, these implants you can actually jump over here. The leg implants, the reinforced tendons. So, from here you can actually kill a lot of people and not be attacked. The police will only spawn behind you. So, let's try that now. Don't worry, that's just to scare people. So police will always spawn behind you, right? Now, if you are getting overwhelmed, just jump down, heal, and then go back up. I'm not even going for headshots right now, just the normal hits. No mercy. And those are the max tag guys, which are the strongest. 2000, and this is not even that good of a shot uh, of a sniper rifle. Oh, we still have some stragglers. The crit damage to the headshots is crazy in this game. So cool blood, 800 experience, level experience, 3 points. You may think, well, that's not a lot and it's not so much, but look at this one. Oh, we got an epic component and not a legendary one. Sometimes we'll get legendary components from the androids, which is very good. Now, another way to do this is to actually summon them over here. And then jump over here and just evade them a little bit and then use the grenade or the rocket launcher, depends on how you view things. When it works that is, because right now it seems to be bugged. Okay, now it works. <laughs> Bug all day and all night. Even stand over here. So let's call the police again. Hey, and you can also make the cars explode if you hit them two times with this. So see, no police will ever spawn if you are sitting over here. By the way, there will also be some turrets activated on that side of the street if you just keep attacking people. You can also do it with a stick and whatever you want to do it. Who's a terrorist? I'm not a terrorist, I'm just a normal guy. As I said, just go over here. They can't fire at you if you just go down. <laughs> oh, max tech, guys. The guns or the loot you get is not very good unless you get that android spawn. Who's left? Taking casualties. And then they just decide to leave you alone. I mean, I was, I was expecting a tank or something. As you can see, the experience you receive is actually quite a lot. Considering you can do this all the time, basically. There is no way to stop you and like you see, it's... Even if it's the easy difficulty, you can just crank it to any difficulty you want and it will still work the same way. So that's kind of... Oh, oh we have experience in athletics. What did we do? We, <laughs> we hit them so hard we actually gain muscles. Anyway, that's enough of this. Let's just go and do the main mission. So... 
In order to have fun in the game, you kind of have to prepare everything. Let's actually save the game. And then go on the very hard difficulty for the story, because... I'm just showing you these things for, you know... Demonstration purpose. Yes, load the game, please. And yeah, this is how you can level up. I actually, I have been using the missions to level up, but since at a certain point you stop getting side missions, and even the attacks of the random gangs will stop, you have no other way of getting experience unless you will go to the new areas, do the main quest and stuff like that. So I just, like, you know, found alternative ways to do it. Okay, so now we are on the very hard difficulty, and let's finally go to his limo. It might be in hostile area, but if you have a big gun, people will be afraid of you. <laughs> okay, let's finally see what he has to tell us. It will be a very dark place, but I just like this for the atmosphere. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshawn in the flesh, ample indeed. <laughs> let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill, but folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure. Are we actually moving or are we sitting still? Pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. You're right, I don't want to look at you. <laughs> Hey, we're actually moving. Okay. I don't know how far you'll get in this car. Let me hear it. What's the job? Okay, as a side note, this is not an RPG. You can't refuse the missions, you can't decide to do them later. Once you start the sequence for the mission, you're basically stuck doing it and you can't get away very, very easy. So that's why I recommend that you do a lot of farming in the beginning. There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. And again, the FPS are taking a dive or just going crazy, and the recording is messed Got up. A plan. Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Must be the Exactly smoke. resolving that. <laughs> okay, Second, let's. The rendezvous. Wow. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. <laughs> What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. 
Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of a Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Uh, well, that's just gosh, music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Uh, One more thing, Mr. B. Uh, Quiet life? Or blaze of glory. Quiet life. I like to Later take l long walks in the park. Who was that? Oh, it was those guys. Jackster, talk to Dex. Ooh, this was a civilian. We were talking about. Yeah, <laughs> Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Going to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> on. Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce... snorts chrome. Hang on, gotta go. What are you? Not a gang member? Oh, come on, even the gang members are afraid of you? <laughs> Weird. Okay, you were saying. He's fucking whack something special. Junkie's not junk. Royce. So it's chrome. Then there's the other thing. 
Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I was not even playing attention. Okay, let's meet up with Parker. the client. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sneak around. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista. Almost I'm, I'm almost able to steal every car I want. 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Let, let me actually show you my parkour skills. So this is kind of like a long journey, right? Not really. Hey, um, why are you so afraid of me? Oh, I missed that one. Mr. V, I just wanted to remind you. Uh, thanks for the info, I guess. So we're going to mix up, meet someone in Lizzie's bar. Okay, watch the street so there are no cars. The city feels a bit empty right now, I don't know why. I mean, I didn't shoot anyone in the recent times. Hey, it will actually would have taken a little longer with the car because you had to wait until the car arrives. You have to wait until you get in the car. Well, this will be a lot e easier to do. And of course, the game will actually take you by force into Looking this bar. Put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Mm. Nah, too plastic. Like I want something more real. Sure, and I go. Hold it, house rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm, doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at this, I like the artwork on the walls. It's much better than the people inside. Hey. Get you something. By the way, one thing I don't like about the game is how you are constantly thrown out of the imagine. So you think, wow, he, he's a cool bartender, he has a lot of cool tattoos, but then you look at his arm and he has... Wanna say something? Yeah, he has that thing over here, on over there on his arm. So it's all just shared scribbles, it's not really even tattoos, it's... Oh, are you the... Wait, wait, wait. Thanks. Better get going. Are you who you f who I think you are? Yes, they are. Okay, we can sit back down again. Get you something. Ugh, don't look at his arms. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper, generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's oh. all right, Mateo. Let's wait for this one. What? What? Evelyn Parker. Wow. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Is 
sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So let's analyze this scene a little bit. We have one glass that is full and one glass that is empty. So we drank our tequila and why, why is one... And is this her glass with her drink, which was... What? What do you drink so they fill up the... <laughs> is that grape juice? You don't really fill up that glass so much. Yeah, very classy. Empty bottles behind the beer cans. Okay, let's look around a little bit. Yeah, they only use BDs right here. They don't do anything crazy or personal. I can only see her spikes. Okay, not interesting. Slightly interesting. Yeah, this looks like a boring place. It's almost like a concert in modern times. Everyone is watching something else or recording. Instead of having fun. Oh no, more monologue, okay. It's hard to listen to all of these discussions if you don't actually have a choice in them. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more. As a little note, where be, we have been in this city for six months with uh, Jack and T Buck, so that's what he's referring to. Even though you, if you miss that montage, you don't basically know what's happening. More of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? 
Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Well, he has right. And again, you are getting FPS drops just by sitting in a cutscene in a closed room, which is silly. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yuri Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Mutual Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So, what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So, no Arasaka security on the device because your Nobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. What the okay. ceiling? What's next? Okay, never mind. Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs what? are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking sure, off okay. two in those boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. All right, all right. Hey, we weren't mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I guess no. you can leave. It can be a Would very you useful tool. Like anything else? 
good for I... analyzing details, it's human perception, even boosted. Black. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. What? I was not paying attention to it at all. Yeah, you have to look in the mirror by pressing F if you want to see yourself, otherwise you, no reflections are present in the game. You, you lady shouldn't drink on the job. <laughs> Hold up, mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rack implant. Why, you object? Well, actually, keep this for later. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.